quick at recording that stuff. <laughs> took me a while when I first started doing this. So I was like, all right, here we go. You're, are you ready? Let's do an example. What they're going to do is they're going to give you uh, two points. And they give you two examples. It's on page 197 if you want to look. I'm going to do the second example. If you want to go back on your own and look at the first example, it's pretty much the same deal. This one's a little bit more complicated than the first one. Not much, but a little bit. All right, here's what they do. They give you two points. And what you have to do is you've got to find the equation of a line. Um, it says... Write an equation of a line through each pair of points in slope-intercept form. Okay, so we want to write this in slope-intercept form, which is what form? Let's write it down, the slope-intercept one. Y, slope-intercept, y equals mx plus b. That's the slope-intercept. What was the other one? There's a point-slope form, okay? This one's slope-intercept. Now look, um, they don't give you a y-intercept, and they don't give you a slope. Remember that little easy example that I did earlier? Okay, I told you what the slope was, I told you what the y-intercept was, and you just stuck them in the right place. This time they don't tell you either one. You've got to figure them both out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out the slope first. Okay, put one. This is step one. Find the slope, or find m. You okay with that? Now look, we had a whole lesson yesterday where we found the slope of a whole bunch of um, points. So let's find the slope. Find the slope, it's changing y over changing x, which means you do what to the y's? Subtract them. So make sure you subtract them in the same order. Doesn't matter which order you subtract them as long as you subtract the x's and the y's in the same order. So if I go, it's not 4 minus 4, what is it? 4 minus negative 4, which will be plus in a second. We just want to write it like this so you know where it came from. Now we got to do the x's in the same order, okay? You cannot go 9 minus negative 7, okay? You've got to go what? Negative 7 minus 9. Negative 7 minus 9. That's going to be a plus, right? So what do we get? 8 over, what's that? Negative 16. Always reduce it, okay? Yeah, it's negative 1 over 2. So that's the slope. You with me? I'm going to put it in a box. I'm not done. That's not my answer because I want it, my answer is going to look like this. It's going to look like a slope-intercept form. That's just the slope. Now i got to find out the y-intercept. Yes? It doesn't matter. Remember I said it doesn't matter the order that you subtract them in? Remember, I, when I wrote it down, I didn't write x2 minus x1. The book says that, and I said that even yesterday. Okay, the, the book says x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1. I don't know why they do that. Um, it doesn't matter what order, as long as you do them both in the same order. So if you subtract the first one minus the second one, you have to subtract the first x minus the second x, okay? You could do it the other way. You're still going to get the same exact answer, but you got to just make sure that you subtract them in the same order. It doesn't make any difference, okay? Um, so that's the, uh, that's the slope. Well, that's one of the two things we have to find. Now what do we have to find? The y-intercept. There's a couple ways to do this. I'm, I'm going to show you just one way, all right? Maybe some other time I'll show you another way. Um, you could use the point slope form at this point if you wanted to, because look what we have. We have at least one point here. We actually have two points, don't we, on that line, and we have a slope. So if you wanted to, you could use the point slope form. Um, I'm going to use a slope intercept form. I don't think either one is any more difficult, but let's just do it this way. Watch. Y equals mx plus b. I know what the m is now. Don't know what the b is. Remember what I said what the x and y is, though? The x and y represents any point, not two points, one point, but any point on that line. Do I know a point on my line? I don't? Yeah, you do. You know, you don't just know one, you know two. I can pick either one of these points. It doesn't make any difference. And I can put the x in for this x and put the y in for this y right here. Which point do you want to pick, the first one or the second one? First one? Yeah, the number's a little bit smaller. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really make much difference, but let's just, it doesn't make any difference. I could do them both. I don't have enough time right now because the bell's going to ring in a minute, but watch very carefully. So Y, so what is the Y on this point right here? Four. It's 4. So I put a 4 equals M. I just found the M. What is it? It's negative 1 half times, okay, the X. What's the X? It's negative 7. I'm going to put it over 1. Is that all right? Plus what? B. So what am I going to solve for? I'm going to solve for B. So let's do this real quick. Watch. Little fraction. Sorry. I'm going to go quick. This is 7 over 2. It's positive, isn't it? Because it's negative times negative. How do you get rid of this? Subtract a 7 over 2. So how am I going to write this then? I'm going to write this 8 over 2 minus what? 7 over 2 
equals one b, half. which is 1 half. So b is 1 half. Now look what I have. Now I got both things that I need, don't I? I've got the slope and I've got the y-intercept. Put them all together, wrap them up in a nice little pretty bow, and we got it. So y equals m. What's our m? Negative 1 half. We just put the x here. What's the b? It's a positive 1 half, so we put plus 1 half. Now that is the equation of a line that goes through those two points right there. All right, it's got a y-intercept of a half, and it's got a slope of negative 1 half. Okay. I took a point. I took either this point or this point. All right, so this is the x, and this is the y. So I put a 4 in for the y, and I put a negative 7 in for the x. All right, and then I put a negative 1 half in for the slope, all right, and then I just did all my math and solved for b. Okay? Look, if you weren't sure about this, I went a little quicker than I probably normally would, but you can see this again. You could watch this as many times as you want, can't you? All right, so take advantage of it. Go to YouTube, look at it, and um, if you didn't follow my steps, look at it again. You don't have to listen to the whole entire lesson. You can just skip forward to this particular thing. Okay, let me give you a couple problems to do. Now, there may be a couple things in there. There may be a couple things that we didn't quite get to, but um, we did the majority of this. So give this your best shot, all right? So it's pages uh, 200, 201. Will college students please come to the office? Shola, Nate Haney, and it's, Sierra Wright. Oh, same, num same problems as you had yesterday, and still the Ariel odds. Ariel Smith. So it's still 13 Brown. to 39. It's a different lesson, section 3, Ethan 4, Burton. but he's doing the same numbers. 13 to 39 and just the odds, just the odds. Brandon Yeager okay. and Ryan Cousins. Thank you. Just the odds. Oh, there's stop this.